Hi people, uh, today we're going to be talking about Traitor to the Throne by uh, Wayne Hamilton. Uh, it's the second book in the Rebel Sands trilogy and I have to say that I felt like coming back home while reading this one. I did love the first one, I do love the second one and I have to say that uh, there's lots of things in the plot of the book, on the characters and everything that makes me love the book so much. But having been on different deserts myself, I have to say that I love how the author depicts the desert and the sun and the feeling of being in such a place. It's, it's something that has to be felt to understand. So there was something intrinsically in this book that made me love it and probably it has to do with how the desert is also a main character in this story. I have to say that I love everything about the jeans and about the half uh, human sons and daughters, the damn genes. And I love learning lots about this kind of lore, mythos, and whatever name you want to give it. And I have to say that I love how the representation is in these books. And I have to say that this one completely blew my mind. We are going to be at the beginning, if it's been a bit since you have read the first book. I did love that uh, the author thought about including uh, a cast of characters with a brief explanation of who everyone was. And also here we have our first chapter that's going to put us into a situation so that we can be like, ah, okay, yeah, that's what happened on the first book. And this is something that I wish that every author did because sometimes it's like a year between books and it's like, I don't remember what happened. So yeah, we're going to find our bunch of guys and girls uh, where we left them. And yeah, I don't want to reveal much about the plot actually. Let's just say that uh, here we're going to have Amani and the rebels. Uh, they are trying to overthrow the Sultan and who is doing sultany things. A.K.I. being a pain in the ass for the wall. Not caring about anyone but himself and his power and wanting to bring everyone to his knees. Uh, to their knees, sorry. So we are going... Uh, what I did love about this book is that Amani ends up being in the hands of the Sultan. And I did love to see the other side of the world. Of the world. And I did love to see how the mind of the Sultan works. Because... Money ends up like sort of talking with him or having this abductee relationship with him. And for me, it was brilliant to see how his mind worked and how he also believed that he is in the right side of things. Uh, that he did what had to be done to protect the place and the people. And um, despite having this rebellion and having people who hate on him, he has this way of thinking that's very unique and allows you to... Well, for me, I don't like him. I kind of hate him. But I like that we have this insight into how he thinks and how he believes that he's entitled to what he has because he has fought very hard for it. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you. But yeah, I did love to have this other side because we had in the first book we had seen the camp and the rebels and Omani um, running and fighting for her life and here we're going to see how the palace works and how the RM works and we're going to be introduced to a new cast of characters uh, namely uh, two sons of the Sultan who we didn't know about one of them is very like, oh, I hate him. The other one is very promising. And we are also going to be introduced to a daughter of the Sultan who is very good creating machines and things. And she looks to be, I think that she's a very promising character. Yeah. I love that there is lots of things that we weren't expecting on this one. We're going to be seeing characters from the first book who, a lot, at least myself, I wasn't expecting to see again or to care about them and I did end up caring about them and we are going to see it to see more sides of this war between uh, the rebels and the sultan and the foreign places and we are going to be gasping with all the twists and surprises we weren't expecting and the ending oh my god that ending was hard very hard I love, I'm not going to talk much about the plot because I don't want to spoil anything for you, but let's say that the characters are amazing. I love Amani. 
I love how she's coming to terms with lots of different things. Um, she discovered in the first book that she is part human, part Dijian, and that she has powers. And that's why she has this big affinity for the sun and the desert and all of that. And here she's going to come to terms with things related to her own family. And uh, she's going to have to think about what she feels for her own father. If she cares about him or if she doesn't. And, you know, all those things that sometimes we childs, children wish that we could confront our parents with if we have this, you know, kind of relationships. And I did love to see how far she comes from the first book to the second and the journey that she does in this one. Money for me, it's an amazing character. She does have power and she has abilities, but it's, it's, it's not fully given. She has trained very hard to be where she is. And I love the way she has of thinking and handling things and loving people and protecting. And, and I think that she's an amazing character and I love her a lot. Also, I love the other characters, Jean, Shazad, Hala. All of them are amazing characters and I love where they come from. And I love learning more about Hala in this book because in the first book, um, she was a damn Jean with golden skin and she was a bit, you know, on the hungry side. But I understand her story much better now. And yeah, I love Shazad. I want to know more about Shazad. And honestly, I love everyone on this on, on this on this trilogy. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's amazing. Uh, when Hamilton has a way of writing that makes the pages flow be before your eyes, and has this very compelling way of storytelling and putting yourself inside the book, and for me it was amazing. Uh, the lush world where that we were, you know, inhabiting, inhabiting while we were reading the book and for me it was amazing to get myself lost inside the pages. It's like almost 600 pages and I just couldn't, you know, I had to end it like in two days because I just couldn't put it down. I wanted to get back and to revisit with my old friends in this trilogy and the places and as I say I love how you feel how sickness you're reading this and you're missing the, des the desert and you want to go back. And it's like, yeah, it's like all these people and all these places are part of you while you are reading the book, which is sort of amazing. So thank you for watching. Bye.